took some time this week and uh, cleaned up the shop just a little bit. Uh, still pretty messy, but uh, at least I can see the table now. So we have a fun little quick project uh, this week that I've been kind of working on um, on and off, but it's really simple and really kind of fun. And as you can see here from the pieces that we have laid out, you got a pretty good idea of what we're going to build. We are going to build a bone weapon of some sort. And uh, this, of course, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. Uh, this is a thigh bone from uh, a Blucky. Uh, actually, this one came from one of the bago bones uh, things that I got on sale after Halloween. And, you know, there's so many anatomical errors with this thing, it's just kind of laughable. Um, but actually, this particular error right here works pretty good for what we're going to be using it for. And then this blade here um, is actually the lid, actually pieces from a lid uh, to one of these storage containers. It actually, the lid on the container, uh, I piled too much junk on it and actually broke into several pieces and, uh, you know, since I never throw anything away, I got to looking at it and tried to figure out what I could build out of it. So basically what I did was I cut out uh, the same shape twice and I glued them together uh, with some E6000 and uh, put it down on the ground and pounded on it with a hammer. That's what all these little marks and indentations are for to kind of give it some texture. And uh, then finished cutting it out, cleaned up the edges a little bit. And what we're going to do next is paint this. Um, actually, I've got some uh, this Krylon hammered finish for plastic. I think that's important. The for plastic uh, part of it is pretty important. But anyways, this is a black metallic hammered uh, look. So I'm going to shoot this with spray paint, and then while that's drying, we'll come back in with the Dremel tool and uh, cut a notch down this. So here is our blade, fresh back from paint. So now we're just going to stick this in here. So once we get that situated exactly where we want it, now we're going to come back in with a little bit of good old E6000. And then come back in with a paper towel and try to clean up around the edges just a little bit. Next we're going to give this kind of a tribal look. We've got some twine here. This is 100% uh, jute twine. And uh, we're just going to start wrapping this around and leave ourselves enough hanging out uh, to work with. Uh, once we're done wrapping it. So we've got some twine wrapped around holding the blade on. And uh, I also went ahead and wrapped some twine around the uh, end of it here. We could call this done right now, but it just looks too fresh and happy and clean and friendly. It doesn't look like it's been used at all. So we are going to do some more work on painting. So I got a little bit of black acrylic paint and a touch of brown acrylic paint and some water. And I'm just going to mix this up really good here. And get kind of a thick, thick mixture going on here. for a little bit.
Alright, so for this next step, we're going to uh, attempt to make it look like this blade has been sharpened. And so I have some cheap Walmart spray paint, and this is silver uh, or aluminum. And I'm just going to spray a little dab of this out into this uh, paper plate. brush here that's seen better days. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on the brush. And the last step in the process uh, that I'm going to do anyway just a touch of orange paint and uh, with the same brush here I'm going to come in and just make sure that's good plastic lid, paint it up properly, and uh, a bag of bones, bone, and some twine, and a little bit of paint, and you have yourself a gnarly looking uh, chopping implement. So we're going to create some sound uh, for the dragon and uh, I'm using a little program here called Audacity and that's A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y and it's a really cool little uh, sound recorder program and you can also do a whole bunch of different effects and the coolest thing is it's free. Um, you can go download it at audacity.com and uh, start recording and uh, modifying some sound. So, so far I've gotten some pretty good results from uh, just, you know, making noise, growling and, and all kinds of stuff into the microphone and then, you know, throwing some effects on it. So, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and do that and this is probably going to be really embarrassing, but um, it'll sound cool in the end even if it sounds uh, pretty stupid right now. So, here we go. I'm actually using um, this little cup, this plastic glass, um, to uh, kind of make it echo. There is an echo filter in here, so I probably don't need to be doing this also, but it just sounds kind of cool. So let's give this a shot. I'm going to push record on here. Get this up close to the microphone. And <laughs> so we got some uh, some noise going on here and uh, when you do this you get a nice little wave print like that 
And if we go back and play it, it sounds just as dumb as it did when I did it originally. <laughs> so uh, what we're going to do is highlight this and go up here to Effects. And there's an effect called Change Pitch. You guys probably aren't seeing this. But uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to bring this way down, probably down to minus 40. There's a percent change. So we're going to bring that down to minus 40. And you can preview uh, what that, that's going to sound like. Mm, sounding better already. So we're going to go ahead and click OK on that. That uh, changes it up. Next, we're going to go into the same uh, drop down, the effect drop down, and we're going to go into change speed. And this one, you can get good results sometimes, and sometimes you don't. It just depends on what uh, the end result that you want. Uh, it just depends on what you're going for. So we're going to change this down to minus four. Give that a listen to the preview and see how that sounds. It's sounding pretty cool. Let's drop that down a little bit more, down to minus eight, and we'll see what that sounds like. That sounds pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and push OK on that. <clears throat> and there's all kinds of things. You just have to get in here and play with it. And, uh, you know, see what sounds cool. Um, there's a bass boost, which works great if you're using a sound system for your props. If you're using a subwoofer or something that can take advantage of these lower, uh, lower range, then this is pretty cool. It doesn't really make that much of a difference in here on the computer speakers, but... There's a bunch of different things. You can reverse it, which is kind of cool. That actually sounds pretty cool. I like that. So now, we're going to take that, leave this highlighted, just like it is, go up here to File, and then Export Selection as Wave. And uh, give it a clever name. I'm naming all these things, things like growl and roar and, you know, growlish kind of things. And then when you've got a sound that you like, um, you can load it here onto your MP3 player and plug it into your speakers on your prop and put it all together. So today, subscriber shoutouts go out to a new user. So thank you, a new user, whoever you may be. Oh, much better.